it's our guy here and as promised we're going to be doing the more advanced version of Loyal by Dave Dobbin for New Zealand Music Month. Now what I'm going to be doing is not going to go into every single little detail because we just tried that and it was a disaster trying to explain every single little note. So um, I've decided we're just going to do a real basic version of this but I'm just going to show you the shapes that I'm doing and play it for you slowly and then that's all and if you want to find out the exact notes for it um, can go and figure that out with the tabs go and find the tabs for it or go and look at the chords or find your way of doing it with using Google and all that sort of stuff um, otherwise I'm not going to go right into the huge details the other thing is I've taken the capo off so we're no longer in the fifth uh, fret position it's just going to be easier to teach this for you if I do it in an open position and then if once you've learnt that you can chuck the capo on the fifth to play along with me if you want to or you can sing it along yourself because you've probably got a higher voice than I I have in the normal position so and that's where he uh, he plays it back in the back in the normal position which is in the key of G so starting with the intro the intro is all harmonics so if you've ne never done harmonics before it's basically the very very center of the string will be doing the 12th fret harmonics and you don't actually press down when you play harmonics you just have your finger sitting on the top and right above the fret, not, not in the middle of the fret, but right above the actual fret where it makes the note. Not here, which is where I put our finger. So we're going to go slightly higher, very, very light touch, and you're going to be able to play those notes. It's the middle three strings, well, middle three strings. It's going to be the second, third, and fourth strings, which is second, third, and fourth strings. They play a G note, they play a G chord, sorry. And we're going to be playing this. I'm going to do it slowly for you, all just using those three strings, and it's just the order of it, okay? the first part. I'll do it again, the first part of this. It's two halves, this is. So there's a gap after that first note. Okay, the second part of that is a little bit different. We're going to go. Okay, that again. So I'll put them both together. the pattern and that recurs over and over and then we have the first part of this now this first part we're going to be doing this part here is recurring it happens all the way through the song okay, it's really important to get this part down so what it is it's a C three fingered C with my little finger playing the nine or the ninth note C add nine so what we've got for that if tab wise three two zero little finger on the three that gives us our first chord shape and it's this is the pattern I'm playing Do that again. Then I slide up to the fifth fret it's using the same shape. My little finger comes off, so my first finger gets to play that note under there, and my little finger comes down to the bottom string. So the notes for that: five, four, zero, three, five. And then the song I come back up again. So I'll go through that. That one's quite simple. All we're doing is going from the beginning of the chord, the top of the chord, the D note, making our way to the bottom, and then coming back three notes. Pretty simple. So I'll go through that again. Here's the... So whenever you get a, D, a C and a D, which is all the way through the song at the end of each phrase is a C and a D, that's what happens. at playing those two chord shapes together and get that bit under your, under the, your belt as quick as can. Okay, we've got the verse. I can remember last time I failed you keep my days. Notice the other bit. So what's happening there, this is really cool, it's a Hendrix chord, okay, so. So Hendrix knows this chord very, very well. This one here we're going to be doing the notes, there's three notes, or well, three notes we're going to be using, it's the, the same notes we used for the the harmonics, it's the second, third and fourth strings. First thing is going to be on the third uh, fret of the second string. There's nothing on the note in the middle, which is the G. And then our third finger is on another G at the moment, which is on the, top, uh, the fourth string, okay? So the notes, the tabs for that from the fourth string is going to be five, zero, three. So we're going to be muting those notes. Then we've got this thing where on the top string is going to go, this is my, this is my uh, third finger, it's going to go from the 5 to the 4 to the 5 to the 0, okay? Okay? Which, which sounds like this when you put the other strings in it. Here we go. Okay? Quite cool that. And the right hand is just doing muted downstrokes. 
but accenting different notes. Just getting quite funky. That sort of thing. And our next bit's really simple. It's just a bit with this that we've just done. Well, it's not simple, but if you've got it programmed. So whenever you're doing G, that's where you do that little pattern. Here's the G again, G. Okay, you get the idea of it. Now the next part is the chorus. Using the same shape we just did then, so we're going from a G to a D with an F sharp bass. So we're going to be doing, okay, and to an E minor. That's all we're doing for that. So this is the last part we need to learn, guys. So. So this part here, we've got to, going from that first shape, we're going to be playing those three notes one after the other. Okay, which is tab for that, zero, uh, five, zero, three, okay. Then we're going to be going down with our second finger to the fourth fret note, so we end up four, zero, three. So five, zero, three, four, zero, three. Then on the same string, five, four, there's two notes again, E minor note. Now instead of E minor, we're going to be doing this E minor here. Okay, so we're going to hit the top, the E on the top string, skip a string, we're going to go. Okay, what I'm doing there, I've got, I'm playing my first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, my second finger is on the second fret of the first string. But it's a really nice sound that. Okay, and then you're picking, I'll do it slowly so you can pick that out yourself. Okay, now then we go to the C and add 9, which we've already done. Play that again without stopping. So it's quite busy, but it's so nice, it's so worth getting that. So at the end of that, we're going to play a C, add nine, not quite. We're going to drop the little finger to the bottom string, okay? So it's a three fingered C. We're just putting the little finger on the G note on the top on the bottom string, which is the first string on the third fret. So the tab for that, three, two, zero, one, three. Drag that whole shape up two frets for the D to D add nine, okay? Which is the same thing, same shape moved up. And that is all the parts of the song done and dusted for loyal. Now, I didn't go into the nitty gritty stuff going on, but you can go and find that stuff online. I hope you're enjoying these lessons. Please let me know your comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Please let me know your name, where you're from, and I cannot wait to see you again for our next lesson, which will be a Wednesday lesson, which will be our electric guitar lesson. Yeah. All right, catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you again soon.